Hello, it's Adam and Ross from Cultaholic.com. Nice weekend, Ross. Still not over at me. No, it's not. Still not over at the memory is still fresh. He's not crying, it's hay fever. He promises. Yeah. Let's take a look at the headlines. First off, Sasha Banks has liked a tweet burying WWE Raw and SmackDown. Next up, despite recent comments, John Moxley claims his bridge to WWE has not been burned. And finally, we have footage of Bill Goldberg unable to stand following his match with The Undertaker at Super Showdown. So I think this one is quite an unexpected one. Sasha Banks has liked a tweet burying WWE, specifically WWE Raw and SmackDown. It was reported last week Wait that there. they- Are you saying Sasha Banks going rogue and shooting no, on no, no, WWE? No, 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 obviously. Unexpected. Obviously that's not unexpected. But I think it is following the news from last week, saying that she'd met with Vince, her likely return was in the summer, mm. and then maybe the meeting didn't go as well as people thought. It's a saga. <laughs> and what a saga it is. Uh, so the tweet reads, with every passing Raw and SmackDown, I grow less and less interested in the product. I'm starting to realize that I'm supporting a pooey company, that's not the word used here, for its past greatness rather than critiquing its current poo, not the word again. I can't even sit through Raw or SmackDown anymore. That's from at Too Sweet Mania on Twitter. Yeah. Oh, we're cool, aren't we? <laughs> uh, so she has liked this tweet. This comes following Triple H, perhaps accidentally, perhaps accidentally not liking a, uh, liking a tweet, heavily criticizing Vince McMahon himself. That was a confusing one. How is it all going to end? Nobody's happy there, are they? Who's happy in WWE at the minute? Vince McMahon with the dollars. I guess so. Yeah. But that's it. Nobody else is. You'd think that Triple H would be relatively happy. He's got his baby NXT. Just forget about the main run. Oh, they they keep stealing them. So don't they? Yeah, no, you're right. Matt quite literally seen his kids taken and then <laughs> abused. <laughs> <laughs> so got, who would be at Kevin Dunn? There's a happy man. Oh, yeah. he, he does not care, does Four he? million a year. There you go. So, yeah, and a very anti WWE tweet. Who knows? I never know if this stuff is on purpose or accidental. We saw it over the weekend with The Undertaker, whoever is controlling yeah. his account, Michelle McCall, one of his social media team, that liking a tweet which was basically saying, Undertaker's an old knacker. He can't go anymore. He should give up. And yeah. it happened within like 30 minutes of the match finishing. I didn't think it was Undertaker. Yeah, you can't imagine him going knacker. through the curtain and being yeah. like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, check me likes. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> but this Sasha Banks thing is, is just doing my head in now. Because yeah, she tweeted I... as well over the weekend a picture of her in an empty empty wrestling ring in a performance center, I think it was. There was nowhere to go but everywhere, is the quote. That's open, open to interpretation. But of course, she went away after WrestleMania. We heard about the on the floor stuff and all that malarkey. Mm. Then she was met me back at Money in the Bank. That didn't happen. Mm -hmm. And now she met with Triple H and Vince last week. And now we're here with the shooting on of the company, and I just don't know. I, I don't think it's actually doing her any favours at this point. I'm not yeah. invested when she's sort of posting cryptic stuff like that, using WWE's facilities to do so, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, I just think, oh, come on, just just come back. Or... It's getting a bit tiresome, isn't it? Just all these people going, oh, WWE's bad. Yeah. I mean, we, we recognise it now. It's just not the cool thing to do anymore, is it? Because so many people are doing it. Yeah. Speaking of creative frustrations, John Moxley has appeared on the 25 Years Later podcast to give his reaction to his appearance on Talk is Jericho, the most listened to Talk is Jericho episode ever. Mm -hmm. It took the wrestling world by storm. It was absolutely huge. He brought to light, of course, various creative frustrations. He just confirmed with everything we've heard over the past few years of Vince McMahon being absolutely. out of uh, so he said that he didn't want to come across as ungrateful to the WWE, the universe, or the gods, <laughs> whatever god you choose to Vince. believe in, um, for all of the things that he has he's received for, for being a wrestler in the WWE. He doesn't want anyone to think that he's snotty, entitled, or anything, but some of these stories you wouldn't believe. Some of these stories about how WWE works are so unbelievable. Somebody has got to say this stuff, and there are so many people in WWE that can't. I can. It's the giant elephant in the room that's screaming, hello! <laughs> Everyone knows what we're doing is stupid, but we're still doing it. Something has to happen here. He couldn't keep it inside any longer. So, yeah, as you say, he's confirmed everything that we already thought. You can understand why John Moxley was frustrated in his role that seemed to change every single week. His character's motivations just went from this to this to this. None of it made any sense at all. But he also says, and this is something that I guess we've heard in the past about Vince McMahon and his relationship with former talents, that a, a bridge is never burned, and that's exactly what mocks Triple H just rebuilds it. Yes, exactly. Vince yeah. burns it down and Triple H gets in the phone. Hello, I'm sorry about Vince years ago. Come back, will you please? Hall of Fame ring? 
so, a bridge is never burned in WWE. Vince would have me back tomorrow and would love it if I came crawling back to him. I think Punk had a lot more personal animosity towards WWE and specific people. I don't know every detail of his story and I haven't spoken to him since he left WWE. That's a surprise. That's a surprise, yeah. Mustn't have got a lot. You wouldn't think so, no. I the... thought Punk wanted Moxley Ambrose to be his original shield. That was the, yeah, that was yeah. it, wasn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, I, I, I mean, obviously... I guess the overriding thing to take from this is that John Moxley, while he did shoot on the company, his intentions were very good because he's speaking up on behalf of the people who can't really say things because they're employed by WWE. Mm -hmm. That is the big difference between him and Punk's podcast. And while I think he's probably right about saying his bridge isn't burnt. I know it's, it's, it was shocking to me initially when I heard that quote this morning. Oh, yeah, sure. When you think about his intentions from that podcast and what he actually said, he didn't go after people like CM Punk did. No. He just said, you know, it's not working at the minute, please change it. And reports came out last week that WWE and specifically Vince McMahon are aware that there is a massive problem, that WWE is broken, was the quote. I mean, Vince McMahon, if there's money to be made, he will make money with yeah. that person. He'll, he'll put everything behind him because that is his overriding goal. Hello, Saudi Arabia. Let's move on. And finally, thanks to user DevW94 on Reddit, we have footage of Goldberg post his match with The Undertaker at Super Showdown, which was a, it was a depressing watch. Yeah. There's nothing else that needs to be really said about it. We're gonna play that footage for you now. We've had to change the audio uh, because YouTube. So this is just heartbreaking to watch, isn't it? It's not, it's I not mean, nice it's, at all. It was expected, I guess, because, you know, he head butted the door, that could have concussed him. He then ran head first into the pole. Yeah. That could have concussed him. Then he was tombstone on his into head. the mat. Yeah, that could have concussed him. He had three potential concussions in one match. It was obvious he was sent loopy because he obviously couldn't lift the Undertaker and people like that. Well, he did that with Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 33. He got him in the air, didn't he? Yeah, um, just about. Just, it, I mean, it was a brain buster, essentially, what we yeah, saw what on we saw the, Friday yeah. night. Um, and obviously Goldberg has himself apologised, because he was he's apologised to us fans because he was concussed on Twitter, so... I felt it's sorry a, after it's, that. It's, it's, it's a weird just, thing. Nothing great, nothing good at all came out of this match whatsoever. No, not at all. I remember when we were reacting to it, at the beginning it was just like, oh, this is funny, you know, this is going to be stupid, it's going to be three minutes long, it's going to be greatest hits, whatever. And then halfway through, when the, the first botch happened, you just think, oh, God, this stopped being fun. Like, I was joking in the build-up, thinking, like, what a match between, was he 52, 53-year-old Goldberg and 50-year-old Undertaker's going to be like? And then you just, it's like when you, you're drunk and then you're sober up and you realise you've made many mistakes. Yeah. It was just a horrible watch towards the end and just sad and just stuff we don't want to see. And I was saying on... WTF, Vince McMahon just needs to create new stars because it's clear he cannot relate on these old lads to, to, to well, they can draw a crowd, but to put on a match worthy of the house they're performing in front of. That's the, the odd thing. The, the crowd was still chanting, this is awesome. They're so overwhelmed they by the star power. They yeah, yeah, sheets, oh, yeah true. They were, they were giving guidance on who they should cheer for, apparently. Yeah, it's, it's a concern. I, I think it's, it's only going to get worse. We've got, we've got 10 years of this. They're running out of stars that could feasibly make a return. I think it's likely that we'll see Hogan again. I think it's likely that we'll see Michaels again. We can't see him again. wrestle. I reckon we will in Saudi oh, Arabia. no, we can't see Hogan wrestle. They would love that. Do you not see that documentary that, that came out in like 2012, I think it was? And it was just look, looking at how broken his body He's was. He's had his whole spine rebuilt, I believe. Let's just smash it again for the Saudis. Why not? <laughs> right. Uh, who, who else is there? Austin? It wouldn't surprise me. I don't think Rock would do it because no. Hollywood and he's got enough money and the PR disaster, obviously. Michaels, he learned his lesson last year. We're too old for this. Kane, <laughs> yeah, no. Kane, Kane, Kane big big he's not the draw. He's not on the level of Goldberg. He's no. not on the level. Flair, of Taker. Flair wouldn't surprise me either. Oh God, it would. He almost died Honest, last year. Honestly, wouldn't wouldn't surprise me. They just made me. Like, do you think that Goldberg was concussed before he went through the curtain? I don't think so. I. Th I, I I think he'd probably open himself up because the plan was to open himself up, which is why he went so full force into the um, the ring post, um, just to make that that process easier, I guess. And he just sort of overshot it and, and went nuts. I don't think he was. I think it was probably the ring post, but the the tombstone. So on it makes his head me, you know how he missed his pyro. Yeah, yeah. It was obvious to me. Well, not obvious to me, but you know, being a hack. I, my mind went to the fact that he had must have had a concussion test just before he went through that, which made him miss the pyro. What if he failed that and he just went, oh, get out there anyway? That was what was running through my head. Really? It's so irresponsible. Do you have to think because he missed the pyro? When's Goldberg ever missed his pyro? 
I can't think of a time that he's missed his pyro. Um, I, yeah, what would have held him up? No, it's, a, it's an interesting thought. You've got to believe that, yeah, they, they, they booked that match. They couldn't have had anything else go on last. Gosh, who knows? Who knows? Yeah. It's all speculation, but it's not something that we want to see again. Thanks very much for watching. See you soon. Thanks for watching. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. You can follow us on Twitter at Cultaholic. You can find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Cultaholic. If you enjoy what we do here at Cultaholic, you can pledge to us on Patreon. That's patreon.com forward slash Cultaholic. And most importantly, don't forget to hit subscribe and join us.